On the night before his visit to Georgia, President Trump is filing a lawsuit asking a judge to overturn the presidential election results and order another statewide vote. The president's team also bringing forward dozens of signed affidavits from Georgia residents who claim to have witnessed voter fraud. 11 Alive's Chinu Her breaks down the lawsuit for us. Trump's team claims there are tens of thousands of illegal votes in Georgia's elections and want the courts to let the state legislature appoint the electors for Georgia. On the same day, the Georgia Secretary of State's office moves closer to recertifying the general election results. President Donald Trump's campaign slaps the state with a lawsuit to, quote, request for emergency declaratory and injunctive relief. Court documents list numerous county elections directors as defendants, as well as Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. The lawsuit claims they violated the state election code and allege, quote, significant systemic misconduct, fraud, and other irregularities occurring during the election process. Many thousands of illegal votes were cast, counted, and included in the tabulations. Therefore, the Trump campaign is seeking to decertify the results and ask that the court, quote, order a new election to be conducted in the presidential race in Georgia. Attorney Brett Williams is a former federal prosecutor in Atlanta. He says a lawsuit to overturn an election is an extremely difficult task. It is climbing up the steep, rocky, craggy side of the mountain to overturn an election. There's a saying, loud doesn't make it true. So you can scream and yell all you want, but one of the things about uh, what goes on in a courtroom is you've got to show and prove. After looking over the 60 plus page lawsuit, Williams says the long list of allegations have to be proven without a doubt for this case to go anywhere. Allegations. I mean, you know, the old saying, everybody's got one, right? It's allegation. Uh, it's what it's what you can show and prove. The Georgia Secretary of State's office has said numerous times there is no evidence of voter fraud in the state. One of the claims specifically made in the 64 page lawsuit involves Fulton County and its vote recounting process. The president's team alleges Fulton County election officials lied to Republican poll watchers and the media to get them to leave State Farm Arena while votes were being counted on November 3rd. We can confirm our own crew was there that night and as and was told workers were done counting for the night and would resume the next morning. However, counting continued into the early morning hours. The Secretary of State says one of its monitors was still there at that point.